Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure AI services. You might already be familiar with these services, even if you don't recognize the name, because these used to be called cognitive services. And not long ago, Microsoft rebranded cognitive services to Azure AI services. This page shows the categories of services, and they include speech, search, vision, language, many others. Uh, if you only want to use one uh, set of these services, it makes sense to only create that specific service. But if you want to use the features of multiple categories of AI services, you can create a service that provides access to all of them. I'll show you how to do each of those things. If I log into the Azure portal, I can create a new resource by, by clicking this Create a Resource button and searching for a particular service, such as Speech. Here is Speech. I'll select Create Speech. And this dialog comes up, and all I really need is this Basics tab. I can create a resource group. I'll call it GCAST. Uh, AISRG, AS for Azure AI Service. Um, put it in re East Region. I'll give it a name, GCAST AIS Speech. Pricing tier, I'll select the standard one. And if I want to, I can put network restrictions. I can specify some identity information. I can add tags. That's all optional. I'm just going to go to Review and Create, make sure everything is valid, and then click create and this will create a speech service in just a few seconds it's done now if i click on this you can see that down at the bottom here there's an end point that if i want to write some code i can access that rest api endpoint i'll have to pass in one of these keys to do that and also i have this button here, Go to Speech Studio. And if I click Continue, it'll open up a page with a bunch of resources by scenario and some playgrounds and some ways of creating applications without writing a lot of code, maybe without writing any code here. So for example, this one lets me do uh, uh, real-time speech to text. I may show a, a demo of this in a later video, but I just want to show you that this is capable. I can do the same thing. If I go back to here for another service, so if I click Create Research and I search for vision or computer vision, then I can select Create Computer Vision, and a very similar dialog comes up. I'll put that in the same resource group here. I'll call it GCAST AIS Vision. Again, I'll select the standard pricing tier, and I won't Bother with these optional things, I'll go straight to the review and create. And it's uh, there's one thing down here I have to check to promise that I acknowledge all the terms above. And that's valid. So when I click create again, a few seconds, it'll create this resource, it'll deploy it. And once it does, I'll be able to go to that resource, see it, and you'll see something really similar right here. There's a REST endpoint specifically just for the vision. We can pass a key in, and there's a vision studio similar to the speech studio. If I go to that, then I've got some tools here to play around with it, to create some low-code or no-code solutions all within here. So this is great if I just want to use the speech I can just, uh, then I can create a speech service. If I just want to use vision, I can just create the vision service. But what if I want to use both? What if I wanted to uh, create a, uh, some sometimes call speech, sometimes call vision, sometimes call search, uh, sometimes call other things as well. Then it doesn't make sense for me to create all these different services. What I would do instead is to create an Azure AI service. To create this Azure AI service that handles multiple services, um, I'll return to the Azure portal, log in, and select this Create Resource button. And then I'll search for Azure AI Services. And this is the one I want with this, this icon right here. Notice there are a couple of them that have similar names, but I want that one right there. 
This dialogue looks very much like the ones for speech and for vision. It asked me for a resource group, so I'll do uh, it's on my clipboard. Put it in the same resource group. Uh, East US is fine. I'm going to call this Azure or GCAST AI SVC for AI services and the pricing tier standard. That's fine. I'll skip over the networking and tags. Those are optional. Go right to review and create. It'll tell me, is this reasonable? It is, it passed that validation. So I'll click on create right here. This typically takes about 30 or 40 seconds to create. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. I am back about 35 seconds later and I'll go to the resource here to show you that now I've got a resource and if I scroll down on the overview blade, I can see that there are different tabs, one for speech, one for content safety, one for computer vision, language translator, and so on. And each of these has endpoints specific to the services that are available. So for example, under speech, I have three different endpoints, depending on whether I do speech to text, text to speech, or custom voice. Um, and so this is, uh, each one of these automatically created all these endpoints. I can call them through code with these endpoints, or I can go to the Azure AI Studio. And there's a link right up here at the top. If I click continue, it will take me here. And within Azure AI Studio, then I have an option to do a lot of these same low code, no code playground type of activities that I showed you before. For example, under AI services, I can select speech right here. And what I showed you before was for real time speech to text here. This is very similar to the speech studio that I got from creating just the speech service. So essentially I have all the functionality of the speech service, all the functionality of the vision service, and of all these other services just by creating a single service. This makes the most sense if I want to call multiple services within my same service. Uh, but if I, if I want to just use one, then I would create that one individually. This is David. Thank you for watching.